Hey, I'm Paul with RockOutfitters.com. Here to show you the Yakima Dr. Trey Hitch Mount Platform Bicycle Rack. Here we have it installed on this Toyota Tacoma. I'll go over a few of the key features. Currently we have it in the deployed position. I'll go ahead and put it in the stowed position by bringing down the hold down hook arms and grabbing the lever on the back end of the, of the rack. And first I want to go ahead and remove it from the receiver hitch to show you how it installs into the receiver hitch. So here on the end of the stinger you can see there's a wedge and that wedge will grip the stinger into the receiver hitch and give you a anti-wobble both vertically and horizontally. So whenever you're installing um, one of these platform racks onto a receiver hitch it's always best to have it in this stowed right angle position. That way without bending over you can simply use your leg to guide the stinger onto the bottom ledge of your receiver, bring it to the vertical position and then start to slide it inward. Now this has a hitch pin that's on the lanyard and you just insert that hitch pin into the, the hitch pin hole and slide forward until it finds the corresponding hole on the inside of the uh, on the stinger of the rack. There it is. And there's uh, just so you can see there's also a little detent ball there which once it inserts through that hole keeps it in place so you don't have to worry about it, it coming back out again. Okay so I have that inserted. Now what I'll do is I'll pull back on it slightly just to put a little added pressure on that pin, on that hole. And here with this red knob, I'm going to tighten that up. As I tighten, I want to kind of rock the rack back and forth so that wedge will get seated into the corner of that, of that hitch. That way you know for sure that it's going to have a good firm grip on there. Okay, so there we have the, the uh, rack installed and tight. And uh, you'll notice that there's this fin right here which acts as a protector to this knob. So even if you have low ground clearance and this rubs on the ground, it'll protect that, that knob. And here you can see it's using one of Yakima's SKS lock cylinders. You use your key, which is included, to lock that turn knob. And then once it's locked, this knob just spins freely. So there's nothing, no lever or anything that you can use to pry it or to break it. Um, it would just spin freely and offer a very effective theft deterrent. Okay, so here you can see it's in the stowed position and on this Toyota Tacoma there's no contact with the back of the vehicle whatsoever. I'll go ahead and put it into the deployed position and let's go ahead and check the clearance here as well. So when I drop down the tailgate again you can see there's no interference with anything, no, no contact. A nice feature to this design is that you can flip these two levers and bring this tray out of the way if need be. So I know that if I have this completely bottomed out, there is a little bit of contact right here. So all I got to do is bring that out just a touch, get it right up against it, and you got a perfect fit to this vehicle and snap that down. So the other thing it does is with those open you can also slide these carriers back and forth this way too. I'll show you on this one where I have a little bit better leverage. So here you can see you can slide fore and aft as well as back and forth so you can get the optimal spacing between the bikes. Also you can provide enough spacing to where you can add a third bike add-on to it and you can see here there's the four holes where it uh, connects and this is a unique rack where it starts off as a two bike carrier but you can attach another one of these trays in this position and it lifts it up and out so you can carry up to three bikes on this same uh, this same rack design. Another important note about this rack design is that these two trays and this base assembly here it's all aluminum to keep the weight down to a minimum it's only 34 pounds for for this carrier so much lighter than other racks in the same category. So next we'll go ahead and load up a bike to this uh, inside position. To do that I'll just get the rack ready to accept the bike by opening up the rear wheel ratchet and extending out the front wheel hold down hook. We'll put a mountain bike on here. It has wide handlebars. I kind of dipped down low to get that rear wheel strap hooked into the rear wheel and I have the bike set on there. Next. I'll bring this hook up and ratchet it down to the closest point 
uh, to the front fork without any contact of, of the brake or the brake bridge, what you, whatever you may have there. So as close as possible without contact. Once it does make contact with the tire, give it a good firm click to make sure that has a nice tight fit. On the rear, this is a nice design here because this rear wheel tray pivots so you don't have to slide it back and forth on a tray that extends out. So it just pivots when you set the wheel down, it automatically adjusts to the wheelbase length. And then all you have to do is just run the strap through and give it a, a tug to make it nice and tight. So now in, with the bike loaded, I'll go ahead and release the lever and bring the platform into the, the, into the access position. Let's go ahead and do another test here. And here you can see there's no, no contact with the bike or handlebars or pedals or anything. And so what we're finding is this is an absolute perfect fit on the Toyota Tacoma. Next I'll go ahead and lift it. And now it's without grabbing the grab handle, I just lifted it automatically locked into that, um, that carrying position. Another important feature to this rack is security. So we mentioned the security that's provided with locking the rack to your hitch. We also have security to lock the bike to the rack. So you have housed inside the tray is a telescopic cable that you run through the, the bike frame. And let's find the most, the best way around. So you run, that, run through the bike frame and then on the opposite side of the rear wheel tray is where it locks down. And so you can see that it would run through the frame and in some cases you have enough length on that cable to route it through the wheels as well. And then when you're ready to unload the rack, you would just uh, reinsert that. Just housed conveniently back in the tray. And that is a key feature to a security feature is that if it's convenient, you're much more likely to use it and less likely to leave the bike unsecured for even a short period of time when it's convenient to be able to lock up the, uh, the bike that way. When you release uh, this, this hook, it's, uh, it's easiest if you push down on the hook and then release the lever and then extend it fully, bring it back, um, release that rear wheel strap, okay, and then the bike lifts off and then we'll put it back in the stove position and there you have the Yakima Dr. Trey this is a, a perfect fit we find here on the uh, Toyota Tacoma this product and the full line of Yakima products are available at rackoutfitters.com. Please visit our site for complete details, pricing, and our promotions. And thank you for watching.